Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. So hope all of you are fine. On that note, let's continue the video. So this is week 4 assignment of Python for data science course. Friends, please watch the video till the end because uh, if I change any answer or if I explain anything, uh, you can be able to note that. So please watch full video without skipping. So these are my probable answers. Uh, so hope most of these are correct. So if I change any answer, I will update in the comment section. Uh, so before the submission time, once again visit the comment section so that if there are any updates regarding change of answers, I will update in the comment section. So if you think there are any changes, please inform me in the comment section so that we can give the best answers to our viewers. So friends, the first question, which of the following are regression problems? Assume that appropriate data is given. So for first question, everything could be the correct answer. That means predicting the house price, predicting whether it will rain or not on a given day, predicting the maximum temperature on a given day, and predicting the sales of ice cream. So moving on to the second question. Friends, I am again saying that these are my probable answers. So actual answers may or may not differ from this. And moving on to second question, which of the following are binary classification problem? It means yes or no type question. So the first first option, predicting whether a patient is diagnosed with cancer or not. This is yes or no type question. So it is correct. And second one, predicting whether a team will win or not. If it wins, it means yes. If it not, it means no. So the second option is also correct and if you see the third one predicting the price of a second hand car price is not an yes or no question so i think it won't come under binary classification problem and fourth also because they give three type of categories so i don't think fourth option will also come into that so i think option one and option two are the only correct answers and moving on to third question if a linear regression model achieves zero training error, hence uh, we can say that all data points lie on hyperplane in the deep plus one dimension space. So maybe S is the correct answer. And from from four to six question, it is based on the data set. Guys, actually it is same data set uh, given in the previous year. So from that, uh, I have got these answers. So fourth question, which of the following machine learning techniques would not be appropriate to solve the problem given in the problem statement? So for fourth question, the probable answer is fourth option, linear regression. <clears throat> and moving on to fifth one, after applying logistic regression, what is or are the correct observations from the resultant confusion matrix. So for fifth question, the probable answer will be option two, true positive equal to 94, true negative is equal to 29. And moving on to sixth question, the logistic regression model built between the input and output variables is checked for its prediction accuracy of the test data. What is the accuracy range in the of the predictions made over test data so for sixth question the probable answer will be second option 90 to 95 and moving on to seventh question how are categorical variables pre-processed before model building so the probable solution is second option that is dummy variables we use dummy variables And from 8th question also, this data set is already given in the previous year. So I have derived the answers from previous year solutions itself. So guys, uh, if you think there are any different answers from what I have given, uh, please you can you know exactly, then you can comment in the comment section. So we can change these answers and update in the comment section. 8th question, a multiple linear regression model is built on the global happiness index. 
so what is rmsc of the baseline model so for this question the probable answer could be third option 1.06 and ninth question a regression model with fu function y is equal 60 plus 5.2x was built to understand the impact of humidity on rainfall the humidity this week is 30 plus 30 more than the previous week what is the predicted difference in the rainfall this is also from previous uh, year assignment so the probable answer for ninth question could be first option 156 millimeter <coughs> And moving on to final question of this assessment, that is 10th one. This is also from previous assessment itself. X and Y are two variables that have a strong linear relationship. Which of the following statements are incorrect? So, <clears throat> so oh, the probable solution for 10th question could be Option A, there cannot be negative relationship between the two variables and option 3, one variable may or may not cause a change in other variable. So friends, these are the probable solutions for week 4 assignments. So hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. So I think this is the uh, last week for this Python for data science course. So all the best for your final exam. So if time permits me, I will try to do a preparation video based on the questions given in all the four assignment uh, questions. So, so for further more videos, keep supporting me like this. So until then, goodbye. Thank you.